<laughs> Time to take you live to Rio. Our Chloe Beardsley standing by in that beautiful city this morning. And I know you're going to talk about USA Pride and how people dress. But first, I have to ask you about this Ryan Lochte story. He was robbed oh, yeah. over the weekend. Guy held a gun to Ryan Lochte's mm -hmm. forehead, stole all of his money and credit cards. Have you felt safe in Rio de Janeiro? Well, to be completely honest with you guys, um, it's all about the time of day that you travel and where you're going to. Obviously, if you know you're traveling to an unsafe area, you want to take extra precautions or maybe avoid that area completely. I've actually been to that part of town a few days ago and I would actually completely avoid being there, uh, especially late at night. As soon as the sun goes down around here, which is right around 530, you definitely kind of want to be in a well-lit area or an area where there is going to be a lot of security presence. So um, as far as me feeling safe, just because I've mostly traveled during the day. Yes, Dana, that that has made me feel a bit safer. However, I was with a group of people. One girl was holding her cell phone up on Ipanema Beach and stolen right out of her hand. So really just everywhere you go, you just have to be extra careful. But uh, in the daytime, I feel relatively safe. I give it a medium. Okay, so let's talk about what people are looking like as they walk around Rio. I see you got the red, white, and blue Hawaiian lei on this morning. What's yes. the deal with that? <laughs> Absolutely, and I feel like a little ridiculous right now dressed like this, but this is what people are doing out here. And you know, you've seen people dress up for the basketball games. People go all out for Super Bowl, and let me tell you, the Olympics is no different. Walking around Olympic Park, and you'll notice people dressed like this man in a skin-tight suit, and maybe even a few more superheroes along the way, all decked out and ready to watch their teams play. It wasn't hard for us to spot the Americans. We ran into the Schlosh family here from Los Angeles, excited to watch the Olympics. People seem happy. They seem upbeat. I asked if they match like this every day. First day, just for the gymnastics. USA! Lenny, Barbara's mom, picked out these shirts before the trip. They say the way they dress has helped them meet new people. This is really unique because everyone's cheering for these people who have worked so hard for their whole lives and you get a lot of country spirit. We've met a lot of Americans. And here's the kicker. When you're dressed up like this, you may get some fans like this guy who were caught taking photos with the locals. Oh, last time I wore this, I got stopped about 20 times. And we couldn't help ourselves taking snapshots of some of the best dressed fans from the USA, all coming together to support their team. Cheer for your country, um, but it's really just a lot of people coming together for one event to cheer on these people, which I think is really neat. And so I asked many of these super fans, how do you come up with these outfits? A lot of them said that they made them from scratch or they ordered their gear online. I want to know what website they're going to for that, but I guess it just goes to show that you can literally buy anything on the internet. Kim and Dana? Yeah, it's fun to see for sure. Thank you so much for that, Chloe. <laughs> Let's take you there live. Our Chloe Beersley is standing by in that beautiful city, all decked out in your red, white, and blue. What's going on this morning, buddy? Well, I, I don't know if you guys can hear the music behind me. It's very loud. We're kind of doing a little bit of this this morning, uh, getting ready for more games today. Very excited to see all that happening. And you can just see the excitement by seeing how people are dressed out here. It's kind of similar to what you see when people dress up for the basketball games, for the Super Bowl. People get all decked out here for the Olympics. We actually have some video we'd like to show you. These people, some in like skin tight, American flag suits. I mean, it's just anything you could possibly imagine. You're going to see it here. I've seen many superheroes, USA superheroes around the park. We bumped into one family that was in all matching old Navy red shirts. They were pretty cool. And the Slosh family, they say that they're so excited to be here. And they've actually made some new friends just because everyone has been dressed in red, white and blue. This is really unique because everyone's cheering for these people who have worked so hard for their whole lives and you get a lot of country spirit. We've met a lot of Americans. Cheer for your country, um, but it's really just a lot of people coming together for one event to cheer on these people, which I think is really neat. And I bought the things I'm wearing from the dollar store and of course, uh, as a bargain shopper and as a fellow American, I just had to ask these people, I'm like, where in the world did you get your outfits? And many people said that they either made them from scratch or they bought their like trousers or whatever it is online, which is just crazy. Cause I'm like, wow, you can literally buy anything on the internet. Kim and Dana. <laughs> Chloe, on a serious note, we know that swimmer Ryan Lochte was robbed at gunpoint over the weekend in Rio. Have you been feeling safe there in that city? 
Well, you know, in the beginning we were uh, pretty comfortable around here. Nothing major really happened, but you know, we were with a crew where um, one girl was taking a selfie and the cell phone was taken out of her hand. This is right in front of Impanema Beach in broad daylight, right in front of police officers. So really, uh, crime can happen just about anywhere. It's all about taking safety precautions. And uh, for me personally, it's just been making sure I'm traveling during the day. As soon as the sun goes down, you need to make sure you're in a really safe area. So as far as how I feel safety-wise, we're kind of in a bubble here in Baja uh, as far as the media goes. So we're a little bit farther away from some people who are venturing out. So I feel relatively safe around here, but certainly you need to take those precautions. Don't be out late at night. Don't be in the wrong place at the wrong time. You just never know uh, who you might bump into, especially in some of the sketchier parts of town. Dana? We're just glad you're aware of that and that you are safe in Rio and you're providing great coverage for us. So, Chloe, thank you very much for that. We are your Olympic station at 647. We've had so much fun with our Chloe Beardsley live from Rio. And who better to send behind the scenes of the Today Show on the road than Chloe herself? I've seen some of your social media posts, hanging out with Al Roker and the like. Thanks for joining us this morning, Chloe. So take us for the tour of today on the road. Oh, it was so much fun, and I, I, I have to admit, I was a little starstruck, especially when I saw, like, essentially the weather god himself, Al Roker. I was like, oh my gosh, you're like the biggest expert, so it was really cool to meet him, and uh, of course, everyone from the Today Show, we talked to Natalie Morales, Billy Bush, and several other people, and, uh, you know, they're all very friendly, very upbeat, and I'm just like, man, how do you guys do this every morning? Uh, but, you know, they're having a great time there at a great location on Copacabana Beach. That's where we were live last Friday having a lot of fun with them and of course just a few days prior to that we met Lester Holt so it really has been a crazy experience out here but hanging out at the Today Show set I, I found out a few interesting things they're actually going to stop using that set after this Olympics they've been using it since the year 2000 so I thought that was very interesting that's the last time you're going to physically see that exact set covering the Olympics for the Today Show so interesting stuff right there and I got caught into a very interesting conversation with Al Roker I was asking him you know what are your favorite you know you, you've, you've been around the block you watched all these Olympics what's your favorite sport coming around this year and he said water polo because it's like rugby underwater isn't that funny yeah it is <laughs> Chloe Beardsley working hard for us in Rio with the beautiful Working. yeah beautiful Natalie, Natalie Morales standing next door Natalie has uh, her Brazilian roots there as well thanks Chloe for that we appreciate it